The Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida has been the unofficial heart of fine arts in the Tampa Bay area since its opening in 1982. The debut of the new building in January 2011 has contributed to an incredible cultural renaissance in the area, particularly downtown St. Petersburg, where the museum is located along the waterfront, which used to be, candidly, Deadsville. Residents would drive into work in the morning, and then leave as soon as quitting time came. But in 2011, when the Dali Museum opened, it brought residents in. It brought visitors in. Shops opened up. Galleries opened up. Restaurants opened up. And now the area is full of artistic institutions and outlets both visitors and residents enjoy. Visitors like myself. I live in Florida and have been to St. Pete for cultural events, art exhibitions, numerous times. That was really sparked in 2011 by the opening of the Dali's new museum. Now, the Dali Museum cares for and shares an expertly curated collection of Salvador Dali's work, preserving his legacy for generations to come. The work and life, of course, of Salvador Dali is celebrated. Now, he lived between 1904 and 1989, almost the entire 20th century, and the Dali Museum features works over his entire career. 2,400 works from every moment and in every medium of his artistic activity, including oil paintings, original drawings, book illustrations, artist books, prints, sculpture, photos, manuscripts, and an extensive archive of documents. Now, this all began with works collected by A. Reynolds and Eleanor Morse. Now, the museum has made significant additions to its collection over the years, celebrating the art and life of one of the most influential and innovative artists in history, but it began with the Morses, and it began in 1942 when the couple visited a traveling Dali retrospective at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Now, on March 21, 1943, the next year, the Morses bought their first Dali painting, Daddy Long Legs of the Evening, comma, Hope, exclamation point. That was a 1940 painting, and this was the first of many acquisitions, which would culminate 40 years later in the preeminent collection of Dali's work in America. And on April 13, 1943, the Morses finally met Salvador Dali and his wife Gala in New York, initiating a long friendship. So why St. Petersburg? Dali never visited and has no connection to the area. Well, the Morses first displayed their Dali paintings at home, but by the mid-1970s decided to donate the entire collection, which was obviously much bigger than one home could hold at that point. A Wall Street Journal article at the time was titled, U.S. Art World Dilly Dallies Over Dali. They couldn't find a home for it. This caught the attention of the St. Petersburg, Florida community, which rallied to bring the collection to the area. That's right, the Dolly Museum could have been in Denver, could have been in Phoenix, could have been in Chicago, could have been in Philly, could have been in Miami, could have been anywhere. The Morses put it up for grabs, and St. Pete went out and took it. So the Dolly Museum, St. Petersburg, Florida, opened in 1982. The distinguished new building, like I said, opened January 11, 2011. The new building allows the museum to better protect and display the collection while welcoming the public. The Dali's stunning new building was designed by architect Jan Weymouth of the architecture firm HOK and combines the rational with the fantastical. A simple rectangle with 18-inch thick hurricane-proof walls out of which erupts a large, free-form geodesic glass bubble known as the Enigma. The Enigma is made up of over a thousand triangular pieces of glass and stands 75 feet tall at its peak, a 21st century homage to the dome that adorns Dali's museum in Spain. Inside, the museum houses another unique architectural feature, a helical staircase, recalling Dali's obsession with spirals and the double helical shape of the DNA molecule. Now, it's on the waterfront in Tampa Bay, and visitors enter through the Dali Museum store, featuring the largest collection of Dali-inspired merchandise in the world, and they can also grab a bite at Cafe Gala, offering Spanish-themed light fare. 
All of the galleries are located on the third floor, and in addition to the permanent collection, the Dali Museum regularly rotates traveling exhibitions. St. Petersburg, Florida has become one of my favorite destinations in America for the arts, and the Salvador Dali Museum is a big reason why that's the case.